Okay, this is what happens when you cover an anthill after poisoning it, and then you cover it with a box. The ants all try to get out, and they use the box as a refuge. And uh, there are all the eggs. That's pretty interesting. Cook them with a torch. Use our Amazon link down below. When you do, it helps us out and it doesn't cost you a penny more. And after using the link, save it to your bookmarks so you can have easy access to it in the future. Thank you. Hey there, it's The Shooting Guy. Thank you for stopping by today. Much appreciated. If you're a subscriber, you guys, you already know how awesome you are. Much thanks. If you're not a subscriber and you just swang by today, yeah, that's a word. Swang. Uh, consider subscribing, would you? It's real simple. All you got to do down below, click subscribe, click the thumbs up, click the bell. There's a lot of clicking, but it only takes a moment. I'll tell you what, I'll wait one second. Just click the like button, click the subscribe button, click the bell. Three, two, one. Okay, should be done. Thank you. And welcome. Uh, those of you that are Patreon patrons, awesome. Much appreciated. Thank you for supporting us uh, in the way that you do. And if uh, you would like to support us in a deeper sort of way, uh, click on the button up here. See, I don't know where it is. I think it's up here. Click on that button. Uh, it'll take you, it'll whisk you away to the uh, Patreon page that we have. And you can select number two. That's right. And uh, help us out. Would appreciate it. That doesn't take very long either. So the other day, um, I was talking to a shooting kid. And uh, I said, hey, you know that piranha predator knife that uh, you have? Where is that? And he goes, oh, yeah. And I was like, uh-oh. Oh, yeah? <laughs> You're making it sound like uh, something happened. Uh, it did. He, he, uh, he showed it to me, and it looks like it's in good shape, except for one thing. When you press the button, let's see if I can do it this way. <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't auto open anymore. Uh, I think the spring is busted inside, and we can't, uh, I can flick it open. That works out pretty good, and it, you know, s same action as it always had. Very sharp blade. Be careful with it. Okay, if you ever get yourself one. I do recommend it. I'm not sure exactly what happened. I don't think Shooting Kid knows what happened. Uh, somebody else was mentioning to me, because uh, I do have a video about this out there. And on that video, they asked me about it. And I said, uh, yeah, we still have it. We love it. And Shooting Kid uses it often. And uh, then I got to thinking, and that's why I asked him. And then we found out the auto function is busted. Now... In good shape, I'm gonna roll some specs in here from a previous video, and I'm just gonna have you check out the specs. Blade length, 4.1 inches. It's a pretty good sized blade. Overall blade thickness, 0.125. Yeah, it's about an eighth inch thick. The handle is 6061 T6 Type 3 Hard Coat Anodized Aircraft Alloy. It's aluminum, 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 guys. Some sort of aluminum, aluminum alloy. Overall length, 9.15 inches. Size closed, 5.1 inches. That pocket clip is titanium. Cool. The blade material is CPM S30V. Nice steel. According to this, the hardness rating is 60 to 61 on the Rockwell scale. Wow, that's a tough blade. Weight, 4.0 ounces. The hardware, that is the springs, the pins, the buttons, and the screws, all stainless steel. Nicely uh, machined and knurled stainless steel button. Mm. And everything else inside is all stainless steel. Nice cap screws. I like that. You know, uh, I get a little bit of grip going on back here. Nicely done. Um, some jimping in the finger grooves here. Nicely done. Loving the knife, guys. Boy, that's a lot of fun to do. Now I know why Shooting Kid wants one of these. It's just fun. Look at that. Hmm. Is it sharp out of the box? Let's find out. Holy smoke. Thank you, Piranha. You guys, 
made it sharp right out of the box. That just says you appreciate the attention to a lot of details. Thank you. Mm, nice. Yeah, we did that video back in 2016. No, 2014. 2014. That's when we did that video. That's how long we've had this knife. Great knife. Um, we've put it on the work sharp a couple of times and keep its razor edge on there. But for some reason, now I, I, I've i never taken this apart. As a matter of fact, here, I'm going to go online right now and we're going to scroll down to the bottom. I'm looking at piranhanife.com. And at the very bottom, it says, each Piranha knife has a limited lifetime warranty as an exclusive cutting tool with the exclusion of abnormal abuse, no hacking or prying. Okay, so we haven't hacked or pried with this thing, honestly. Um, and then it says, Piranha knife will not warranty any knife that has been disassembled. And no, we haven't taken the thing apart. Um, for warranty information, email piranha at piranha at that's kind of funny. Piranha at Piranha at PMT.org attention repairs. So I'm going to give them uh, a little email. I'm going to let them know. Uh, I, I know how these things are put together. Uh, there's There are a couple of guys out there that have opened up their piranhas. And uh, there's, there's basically a, a pivot inside of here. And there's a coiled spring. And that coiled spring has a place uh, in one of the scales that sets in so that when you uh, when it's closed it creates tension against that spring so that when you hit the release um, the tension is released and then it swings it up and when I look inside and maybe I'll try to do a little close-up here um, well it's gonna be tough to see this but down deep inside of there you can see the little slot and it, it's as if the uh, somehow the spring uh, isn't in there anymore. So the spring might be floating around or something on the inside. Don't know. I am going to give Piranha a call. Yeah. See if we can get that thing to work. Well, that was really all. Uh, just kind of wanted to update you. They're not indestructible. Nothing is indestructible. But uh, I, I do feel it is a, a very good knife. If you're interested in one, um, go back and look at the original video. And you can see how the action works and all of that. And pick yourself up one. I'm going to put a, uh, a link down below to Blade HQ. They have them in stock. Um, I'm going to warn you, they are not cheap. They're not like a couple of hundred dollars. They're not like a Protec. Protecs are pretty expensive. Piranhas are not quite that expensive. I think this is like $165, $169. But uh, very... Um, well-built American-made auto knife. And if you can um, uh, have an auto knife delivered to where you live, because there are some states that were originally from California. And in California, they can't stop you from owning one. But if you're caught with, with one, if you're carrying one, uh, there's a stiff penalty for it. I don't know how it's like around your area, but just check with your local laws. Um and uh, use caution. Don't get yourself arrested or cited or huh, any of that. Don't need a ticket for carrying a pocket knife. <sighs> yeah, we got too many problems to worry about carrying a pocket knife. Anyway, check it out. Check out the video. Do me a favor. Uh, this video is in a playlist called The Everything. And what I'd ask you to do is, um, I'll put a link to the everything. It's going to be up here. It'll pop up right now. Uh, click on the everything. And uh, even if you're doing other things, you can click play on the playlist, let it run, put it in the background, turn down the volume, let it go. Please. Why? Well, because... Uh, YouTube suppresses videos from time to time for, well, you know, they want to select videos that have the most eyes um, and that will be pleasant for their 
um, advertisers, right? If advertisers don't want to advertise, then they won't show the video. But if there are a lot of eyes on it, their advertisers may think differently. So let's let's do that together. I've been doing that a lot. I've you know not on mine, um, on others. You know they have a, a playlist, and I'll just click the playlist and let it run. So I'm supporting other YouTubers that that I watch. Um, I would ask that you would support me in that way as well, and go to other YouTubers that have similar likes like us. You know knives, uh, firearms, outdoors, all that kind of thing, and um, see if they have in everything and play their stuff. So our presence on YouTube begins to rise to the top. But I'd like to see if that would happen uh, on ours. So click the everything. That's it. I'm going to go. It's, uh, I was supposed to um, gas up and fix up and make sure our uh, gas power generator is working. We've got a generator that's been kind of sitting for a couple of years and I haven't started it up. And this year, doggone it, <laughs> I'm going to make sure that it's working properly because the uh, the freezer is full. And out in this part of where I live in the China Spring area, and that's north uh, of the lake, I get power outages just when somebody sneezes outside. <laughs> so, um, with with a full freezer and no way to keep that thing, if we should have a snow apocalypse like we did last year, if you remember that, or I guess it was this year, February. But if that should happen again, I want to make sure that my power generator is working and uh, I can keep my freezer from thawing out. Plan. Hope for the best. Plan for the worst. That's how I do it. I encourage you to do the same. All right, that's it. God bless you. I love you. You guys are awesome. Click the thumbs up. <laughs> Share this. Okay. God bless you. God bless America. May America bless God. Can you guess what it is already? Uh, there it is. Look at that. What does that say?